We therefore commit this body to the deep, to be turned into corruption, looking for resurrection of the body, when the sea shall give up her dead, and the life of the world to come. That is from the Book of Common Prayer. Hi, my name is Keith Nitka, and I'm proud to be the Battleship Operations Manager here on board Battleship Wisconsin. And I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. Today's Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure is about burials at sea. As far as anyone knows, burials at sea has been a practice that goes all the way back to the times of when uh, people went to sea. Uh, there's no actual uh, first day, so to speak, but, but it has to be believed that it goes back to that time. Now, back in that time, a uh, dead sailor would have been sewn up in his hammock or possibly a, a piece of sailcloth. And you may have even heard the story about the last stitch going through his nose just to make sure that he was actually dead. Uh, as recently as World War II, there were uh, numerous uh, burials at sea or internments out at sea due to combat and extended operations at sea. Uh, the Navy still today will bury uh, veterans and uh, uh, family if, the, if you meet the certain criteria to fit into that. Uh, on my destroyer in 1988, I was actually part of a burial at sea uh, at, out in the Atlantic. And although no Battleship Wisconsin sailors have lost their lives here on board in combat, we have had four deaths. Uh, four men uh, have been buried uh, from here, this point here on the starboard quarter of the ship. The four men gave their lives as the ultimate sacrifice to their country and were buried at sea. The four men are as follows. Gunner's mate, second class, Mervyn Clark of Limestone, Tennessee. He was a sailor aboard the USS Maddox, uh, DD 731, and he died uh, and was interred into the deep 22 January, 1945. Next was Seaman First Class, Harry Yetter. Uh, Mr. Yetter was from Chatfield, Minnesota. He was a sailor off the USS McDermott, and he was interred at sea 16 April, 1945. The last sailor during World War II was machinist mate third class Robert Kaya of Philadelphia. He was a sailor on board the USS Watts, DD-567, and he was interred on 11 August 1945. These three sailors all died uh, from their wounds received in combat. They were transferred here to Battleship Wisconsin uh, for medical treatment as we, being a capital ship, would have had a, when we do, have a full hospital on board the ship. Uh, and their destroyers probably just did not have the equipment to, to tell, take care of them. So that was World War II. Uh, the last man buried at sea from this spot was not an American. Uh, he was a North Korean POW, uh, and that was during the Korean War in 1951. He was transferred here for treatment of wounds that he received in combat and subsequently died from those wounds. Very little is known about him. Uh, all we actually know is there's a picture in the 1952 cruise book that shows uh, his burial detail and then there are some eyewitness accounts of the actual burial detail itself. Uh, what we do know is that he's a North Korean POW, but we don't know what branch of service he was in or how he ended up here on board the ship or where he received his wounds from. Uh, we're not even sure of the exact date of the internment. Uh, we, do, we do know it was uh, 1951. And in the latter months of 1951, November and December, Battleship Wisconsin was heavy into combat uh, up and down the Korean Peninsula. So it might have come somewhere in that time period. We, we can only surmise, but that's what we believe. It had to have been during the winter months, November or December of 1951, because in that time period, Battleship Wisconsin was heavy in combat up and down the Korean Peninsula. We also know from the pictures that, uh, that we have of the burial, the burial detail, the sailors are in their pea coats and uh, watch caps or winter caps. So we just assume that it's cold. I wanna thank you all for watching these videos over the last four years and leaving comments. And I wanna thank the folks that have come and met me here in person. I had a blast uh, meeting you after, after hearing you had watched my videos. Uh, I have enjoyed our time together, and I ask that you continue to watch the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, leave comments, continue to ask more questions, and I want to thank you all very, very much. My loyal viewership, and I wish you all fair winds and following seas. Thank you.